Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. It's mime control time. Who's this guy? Strings? Is that his name? I don't know. We'll find out. America was in possession of two of the three Egyptian god cards. We still need a Millennium Puzzle to bring his plan together. And Yugi find it? Yeah, it's strings. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this fella. Ready to lose our puzzle. You can't duel for puzzles, but whatever. It's fine. Merrick, Merrick makes a good point. Why would he put himself at risk at all when he can just use, you know, slaves? Look at the, the, the font size on the on that card. It's so small. So many of these Yu-Gi-Oh cards have gotten so, not convoluted, but just unnecessarily long, I guess. Person sends two cards from their hand to the graveyard, then draws two cards. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, we got some stall we can use. Uh, we're gonna not use that. Let's, uh... Don't wanna apply the pressure. Actually, you know what? Let's stall now. Let's see what? Let's see what he got. Glad I didn't attack it. Okay, what is it? Cannot be special summon except by its own effect. This card is tributed for a tribute summon during your next time by phase. You can special summon this card from the graveyard. That sounds like impossibly good, no? Like impossibly good. Wait, what if I mind control it or brain control it and then tribute it? Do I get it? I mean, probably not, but that would be cool, right? Only one monster can attack during each battle phase. Oh, that's gonna be really boring. Alright, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll attack, sure, why not? Let's see what he got. Another one of those things? Seriously? Alright, game. Let's go. I, I kind of want to take control of it just to find out what would happen, but I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, we'll put him down. Defense you. We'll keep you in attack. That's, that's fine. Hold on, we don't have the, the the final magnet warrior. Is it even a is it a is it a polarization monster? We don't have any any fusion cards. Oh, it's Dark Magician Girl. She can't even kill these things, but Red Eyes can. Oh, you betcha Red Eyes can. Maybe the Magnet Warrior is not a fusion monster. I, I do not remember. Well, I don't want him to be able to summon these things, so... Or uh, special summon them when he tributes them, so let's get rid of them now. I feel like this duel could be really, really hard. Card remains on the field for two of your opponent's turns. While this card is face up on the field, no monster can attack. Brilliant. Brilliant and great. I'm just, I'm just gonna make sure. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure. I don't want to goof up this fight. 1400. Why? Why would you summon it? Hmm. Uh, we can we can summon. Yeah, let's summon Dark Magician Girl. Sure, why not? We have this. We will protect her with that if need be. Okay, we can attack again. That's good. All right, all right. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get why he, why he did that. But sure, why not? 
There's one random card from your opponent's hand face down during your opponent's fourth standby phase. It gets back, okay. I mean, I feel like there's that's not really great, but it's not really bad either. Just kind of whatever. Just kill that thing. So now its effect doesn't matter. That's like a lot of defense for a card that does that too, huh? Card just seems really, really good. Monster special summon from your graveyard, you can draw one card, okay. What? Why would you do that? Yeah, I want to activate my Light Force Sword. Sure, why not? I don't want to Spellbinding Circle that thing. I want it to attack me. 2600. And because of his own effect, uh, it doesn't matter to me. It's not like he's going to attack me. Uh, Graceful Charity is just a better hand destruction, right? Uh, sure, let's try it. Ooh, Robin Zombie. If, this, if your monster inflicts battle damage to your opponents on the top card of their deck to your graveyard. I like that card a lot. Yeah, let's get rid of that, and... Let's get rid of Karibo. Play that... Play that. I will do a thousand points of damage to this to this guy. I feel like we could stall this guy out pretty easily, right? Because he's gonna keep drawing cards. Like his his whole strategy is he gets the revival jam thing up. And every time it comes back to the graveyard, he'll draw a card. When, when we do when we do damage to him, he's gonna lose another card. That's going to be interesting. Of course, that's assuming we can do damage. We didn't draw any, any monster. Interesting. There's as many face-up spells as your opponent controls. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That, that might just win it for us. We can't use that yet because we can't get his, his set card. Is there anything in the graveyard we want to summon? Not in our graveyard. What about his? No. I was like, if we had if we had something strong enough, we, we might be able to win, but but we don't. We'll just play it safe. Glad I attacked with the red eyes. Uh, yes, we want to activate Robin Zombie. And that's it. Oh, we got we got rid of his stall card. It was worth it. It was worth it the whole time. I wonder what we got rid of. Oh, he had he got his third one? No, I refuse. Get out of here with that. Yet another Dark Door as well. That's kind of unfortunate for him. It does save him one turn. Uh, we can't kill him this turn now. But we're gonna be we're gonna be pretty close. And he lost another humanoid slime. That sucks for him because that that could have saved him another turn because we can only attack once now. So as long as he keeps drawing monsters, uh, we we can't we can't kill him. He didn't draw a monster, he loses. Epic. Uh, sure, Dark Magician Girl can kill him. That is victory, folks. So his gimmick, in the show at least, was to stall with Revival Jam, um, prevent... I think he, he summoned a whole lot of slime tokens too. He had a, a, a trap card that was like a slime token machine. And then eventually he would summon Slifer the Sky Dragon and uh, and try to kill Yugi that way. Oh, we got a bonus one next. We got another Wreck Boom of Death special. Anyway, Yugi, Yugi eventually... Uh, Slifer the Sky Dragon, there we go. 
We, we unlocked him. We can now put him in our deck, although we're using just story decks, so it doesn't matter. I was surprised that the, the Egyptian God cards were in this in the game because like they're barely functional. But they they are there in the game and you can use them. And I think you have to use them in a, in, a, in a couple of duels. But yeah, uh, basically Strings wants to get out Slifer and, and then just destroy Yugi. And Yugi outsmarts him and wins. It, it didn't go quite the way that we just did it there, where we just, you know, beat him up. <laughs> anyway, we're going we're gonna to do this double duel on the next one, because I think it's going to be a big pain and it might take a couple of tries. And uh, we're already past 10 minutes, so I don't really care. So I'll see you next time.